Hello students. In this video, we continue with the problems on Newton's interpolation. Now fourth problem, using Newton's backward interpolation formula, find the interpolating polynomial for the function given by the following table. x and f of x values are given. Hence, find f of 12.5 and f of 13.1. The main difference between this problem and previous problems is there we have to find the value of y for given x directly. But here first we have to find the polynomial that is called interpolating polynomial. Then we have to substitute for x to get required f of x which is equal to y. Now we construct the difference table as follows x values are 10, 11, 12, 13, f of x is 21, 23, 27, 33. Now we write first difference that is 23 minus 21 is 2, 27 minus 23 is 4, 33 minus 27 is 6. Similarly the second difference 4 minus 2 is 2. 6 minus 4 is also 2. The third difference 2 minus 2 which is 0. Since we are using Newton's backward interpolation formula, we require the values which are at the bottom of the each column of the difference table which are indicated in bold letters. So from the table, yn is 33, xn is 13, del yn is 6, del square yn is 2, del cube yn is 0 and h is that is step length is 1. We have Newton's backward interpolation formula which is given by y equal to f of x which is equal to yn plus r times del yn plus r into r plus 1 whole divided by 2 factorial del square yn plus r into r plus 1 into r plus 2 whole divided by 3 factorial del cube yn. We call this equation as equation star where r is given by x minus xn divided by h. Since we want interpolating polynomial, we write x as it is, xn is last value of x which is 13, which is 13, divided by h which is 1, 11 minus 10 is 1, 12 minus 11 is also 1, so h value is 1. So we get r value as x minus 13. Now substitute r del yn del square yn and del cube yn in equation star we get y equal to f of x equal to yn is 33 plus r is x minus 13 del yn is 6 plus r is x minus 13 r plus 1 becomes x minus 13 plus 1 whole divided by 2 factorial which is 2 into del square yn is 2 which will give x square minus 19x plus 111 on simplification. Thus the value of f of x is x square minus 19x plus 111. Now we have to find f of 12.5 from f of x. So put x equal to 12.5 we get f of 12.5 as equal to 29.75 and put x as equal to 13.1 we get f of 13.1 as 33.71. Next note, this note is important for problem number 5 and 6. Whenever the range is given, 
we have to construct the difference table as mentioned in the problems below that is in problem 5 and 6 now problem number 5 in the table given find the number of students obtained question number a less than 45 marks question number b between 40 and 45 marks the table is given which contains marks and number of students since marks are given in range so we take y equal to f of x which will denote the number of students getting less than x marks so the number of students obtained less than 40 marks is 31 the number of students obtained less than 50 marks is 31 plus 42 so together it is 73 similarly the number of students obtained less than 60 marks is 73 plus 51 that is 124 the number of students obtained less than 70 marks is 124 plus 35 that is 159 the number of students obtained less than 80 marks is 159 plus 31 it is 191 now we construct the difference table as follows in x column we have 40 50 60 70 80 and in y column we have 31 73 124 159 190 now we write first difference 73 minus 31 is 42 124 minus 73 is 51 159 minus 124 is 35 190 minus 159 is 31 students you know the pattern now we write similarly the second difference 51 minus 42 is 9 35 minus 51 is minus 16 31 minus 35 is minus 4 the third difference again minus 16 minus 9 minus 25 minus 4 minus of minus 16 is plus 12 again 12 minus of minus 15 is 37 Students, here we have to find the value of y at x equal to 45, which lies near to the beginning of the table here. So, we have to use Newton's forward interpolation formula. Since we are using Newton's forward interpolation formula, we require the values which are at the top of the difference table and which is indicated in bold letter so from the table y naught is 31 x naught is 40 delta y naught is 42 delta square y naught is 9 delta cube y naught is minus 25 delta to the power 4 y naught is 37 and h value is 10 here now we have newton's forward interpolation formula y equal to f of x equal to y naught plus r times delta y naught plus r into r minus 1 whole divided by 2 factorial delta square y naught plus r into r minus 1 into r minus 2 whole divided by 3 factorial delta cube y naught plus r into r minus 1 into r minus 2 into r minus 3 whole divided by 4 factorial delta to the power 4 y naught we call this equation as star here r is given by x minus x naught divided by h x is here x is the point at which y value is required so x is 45 x is 45 
x naught is 40 divided by 10. So r is 45 minus 40 divided by 10 that is 5 by 10 which comes out to be 0.5. Now substituting all these values in equation star we get y equal to f of 40 which is equal to 31 is y naught plus r is 0 0.5 delta y naught is 42 plus r is 0 0.5 r minus 1 is 0 0.5 minus 1 that is minus 0 0.5 divided by 2 factorial is 2 delta square y naught is 9 plus r into r minus 1 into r minus 2 becomes 0 0.5 into minus 0 0.5 into minus 1.5 all divided by 3 factorial is 6 delta cube y naught is minus 25 plus 0.5 into minus 0.5 into minus 1.5 into minus 2.5 all divided by 4 factorial is 24 into 10 therefore y equal to f of 45 this has to be f of 45 make a correction this is f of 45 here also so we get f of 45 as 47.87 which is approximately equal to 48 thus f of 45 is 48 now second part we have to find the marks between 40 and 45 that is we have to find the number of students who have scored the marks between 40 and 45. We have f of 45 minus f of 40. f of 45 is 48. f of 40. What is f of 40? f of 40 is 31. So 48 minus 31 is equal to 17 students so the number of students who have scored the marks between 40 and 45 is 17 now sixth problem a survey conducted in a rural area the following informations are classified only in the table income per day is denoted by x number of persons is denoted by y the ranges and number of persons is given for zero income per day 0 to 10 there are 20 persons 10 to 20 there are 45 persons similarly 20 to 30 there are 115 persons 30 to 40 there are 210 persons 40 to 50 there are 115 persons so the question is estimate the probable number of persons from income group 20 to 25 since here income per day is given in terms of range we take f of x which is equal to y as the number of persons getting income less than x rupees so the number of persons getting less than rupees 10 is is 20 the number of persons getting less than rupees 20 is 20 plus 45 that is 65 the number of persons getting income less than 30 is 65 plus 115 180 persons the number of persons getting less than rupees 40 is 180 plus 210 390 the number of persons getting less than rupees 50 is 390 plus 115 that is 505. Now we construct the difference table as follows x values be here the x values are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and revised y values are 20, 65, 180, 390, 505. Now we take the difference, first difference. 65 minus 20 is 45, 180 minus 65 is 115, 
390 minus 180 is 210. 505 minus 390 is 115. Second difference, similarly, 115 minus 45 is 70. 210 minus 115 is 95. 115 minus 210 is minus, minus 95. 95 minus 70 is 25. Minus 95 minus 95 is minus 190. Then fourth difference, minus 190 minus 25 is minus 215. Dear students, here we have to find the number of persons getting the income between 20 to 25 rupees. That is, students, we have to find the value of y at x equal to 25. And x equal to 25 lies near to the beginning of the table. Lies near to the beginning of the table. So we are we have to use Newton's forward interpolation formula. So from the table, y naught value is 20, x naught value is 10, delta y naught is 45, delta square y naught is 70. Delta cube y naught is 25. Delta to the power 4 y naught is minus 215. We have Newton's forward interpolation formula y equal to f of x, which is equal to y naught plus r times delta y naught plus r into r minus 1 by 2 factorial delta square y naught plus x etra up to fourth difference that is r into r minus 1 into r minus 2 into r minus 3 whole divided by 4 factorial delta to the power 4 y naught we call this equation as star where r is given by x minus x naught divided by h now x x is the point at which y value is required which is 25 x naught is initial value of x which is 10 h is the common difference which is 10 20 minus 10 is 10. So R comes out to be 25 minus 10 divided by 10. That is 15 minus 10 which is 1.5. Now substitute this R value and delta y naught delta square y naught delta cube y naught and delta 4 delta to the power 4 y naught in equation star we get y equal to f of 25 is equal to 107.14 which is approximately equal to 107 persons thus we have f of 25 minus f of 20 that is students we have to find we have to find the number of persons who are getting the income between 20 to 25 so from the table f of 20 is 65 so f of 25 minus f of 20 is f of 25 is 107 minus f of 20 is 65 42 persons so the number of persons who are getting the income, the number of persons who are getting the income between 20 to 25 is for the number 42, 42 persons. Thank you.